Today I am finally pulling all my fall stuff out and I'm going to start decorating for fall. It took me a little bit to get to this point because I had so much other things going on in my life and I just could not fit in decorating for fall, but I am finally going to do it. I have my kitchen table full of all my fall stuff. I even have some fall stuff that I just bought yesterday. Um, I drug my husband to Hobby Lobby and we looked at all their stuff. I could have gone crazy there, but I didn't want to do too much, but I did buy some stuff for my porch. Um, since I redid my door and everything, I kind of wanted to dress up my um, front porch door area. And I have to get one more thing, and I think later on I'm gonna run to Target to get that. Um, and that's just like the rug, um, the fall rug that I get every year. Um, didn't find one at Hobby Lobby that I cared, cared too much for. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate everything else and then later on I'll go run and do that. But I have no plan of what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't, I have a lot of fall pumpkins and things like that to put around the house, but I don't really go crazy in, in every room. I think I might go put some stuff in my, the main bathroom of the house, um, but I don't know that I'm gonna decorate my bedroom. Uh, I just, I'm not totally crazy into that. Um, I do have to clean my house, so I'm going to clean all the rooms in the house. Um, but as far as decorating for fall, I don't know if I'm gonna push it back there. Um, I have some different things that I wanna do in the kitchen. I also have my bookshelves this year. I didn't have last year. Um, last year I did kind of like a low key um, decor, I guess if you wanna say. Um, I didn't have these shelves or anything. And yes, I'm wearing the same exact shirt that I wore in my last year one because why not? Um, but anyway, I have a lot to do. I'm gonna try and fit it in before my daughter gets off school. So if you're ready for this video and super excited, give it a thumbs up because I know that some of you guys were waiting for this and I'm so sorry. I really wanted to have this out um, last week, the week before even but I just couldn't find the time to do it. So now I have a whole day dedicated to it. I'm gonna get it done, and now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so before we get into everything, I just kinda wanted to show you <clears throat> everything that I was kind of working with. My kitchen is a disaster, but we're gonna get to that later. But um, I got a few new things this year from Hobby Lobby and um, Dollar General. If you don't ever check out Dollar General for like fall things or Christmas things you should really go because they have the cutest things like <clears throat> like I got this and it was only three bucks I mean that's super cute to decorate with same thing I mean they're just simple little pieces that you can decorate with um, I got this little welcome to home or welcome to our home sign that I'll probably put outside and you can also like stand it up that was ten dollars. Uh, <clears throat> um, I got this little fall basket. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it was cute. Um, and then I got this little thing, six bucks. Last year, um, I got this little blue truck. If you watch my last year video, I was so excited about this blue truck that I based basically everything around this. Like I got the blue pumpkins and the a couple of the other blue accessories that you'll see. Um, like the blue Ray Dunn pumpkins. I got some of those. This year I picked up this little birdhouse. They had um, like a fox and then like an acorn one. I liked the pumpkin one. That was only six bucks. And then what else did I get? Oh, these little things right here. 
Um, this little sign, welcome fall. It's got that chicken wire and a little stand if you wanted to stand it up. That was $5. And then I got this one, the little truck with the orange and the blue. I don't know. I just, I really like the orange and the blue and I liked it last year and I still like it this year. But I got this little thing, home sweet home. This one was $4. So you should check it out there if you haven't because they have a ton of cute things. Um, but you got to get there at the right time because if you get there like a little bit after fall, you almost need to be early because if you get there a little bit like whenever you think a normal person would go shopping for fall stuff, you're too late. <laughs> so um, uh, I, oh, I, also I also picked up this from Walmart this year. I thought it would be cute just to hang on our door. It's orange and yellow. So I just thought I would show you what I'm working with first. Um, oh, I also got I also got these this year at Hobby Lobby yesterday. I got two packs of these because I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those. I got another runner because um, I think I'm gonna put it match the runner that's up there. I'm gonna match that for the table. And then I got this little pumpkin, says fall blessings. And they're like, they're not wood, but they're, I don't even know what you would call this material, but um, they're not, they can sit outside and get wet. And that's what I was looking for. And I got a white one too. This one says give thanks. And then these are just like um, little wooden pumpkins. They only had two sizes. And I thought about getting another one just like this to put it on the side, but I thought these would be fine. So I got those. Um, but the pumpkins that, these pumpkins right here, I'm gonna put in this, and this is what I'm gonna put on my front porch. So yesterday, whenever I got home, I put the pumpkins in here and there wasn't enough. It didn't seem like it filled it up. So I might either run and get another one or just make it work with what I've got. Um, I'm not really sure yet. Once I go outside and I decorate that area, I'll be able to figure out what I need. But my idea is to fill this up with like colorful pumpkins and put it on one side of my door. So, and then on the other side of my door, I'm gonna do something with those pumpkins right there. Not the middle ones, but the orange one and the white one. And then I got this. And my idea is to put one pumpkin in here, one pumpkin on top, and do some kind of greenery or hay or something. I hope it makes sense. You'll see whenever I do it, but yeah. And then I got this to go underneath whatever mat I choose um, to make it a little bit more cozier at the front door. So, but that's just a little bit of what I got this year. But I got a lot to do and I'm already out of breath, so I need to go ahead and get going and get this done. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my Sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving This moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving This moment Can we stay here together If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving This moment Can we stay here forever Stop the time, don't you know? 
so far I went ahead and I switched this out I didn't really care for the pumpkins there I don't really care for this fake orange stuff I need something here because it kind of blocks you know our router and all the ugliness back there so I went ahead and just put this here um, just kind of like a pop of color it's not too big I think I'm gonna save I think I'm gonna save this for mm, above here somewhere um, I was looking at this and I'm thinking this could be for fall too what I've done here um, I kind of played it safe for the summertime but what I might do is just either leave my birdhouses like this and take the sunflowers out and add some pumpkins in there where like the sunflowers are um, I'm not really sure what to do I'm struggling here but I don't have I don't really have to do anything different to this other than the fact that I do want to change some things up. So what I might do is leave the birdhouses where they're at, um, maybe add another, uh, maybe add another one of these to the center here and then just take the sunflowers out and add pumpkins throughout because it kind of already looks fallish anyway but I do want some sort of change so uh, I don't know let me know what you guys think um, I have no idea what this is gonna look like but I do know I want to change it up a little bit um, so right now I just want to show you <laughs> this is what it looks like it's always a mess before it gets better um, Bruno's like oh my gosh uh, the other thing, oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, this mossy stuff, um, you've seen me put it in several, shoot, you've seen me put it in several different places here and there. It is a mess. It makes a major mess, which is right here, but it looks really cute. Either it looks that way to me. I don't know. I like it. It adds a little bit of, you know, like, I think it adds into the fall of it, you know the fall vibe going on so I thought I would do one you know some in there and some in the other one I was going to replace the batteries but my wonderful son took all the batteries for his um, 
Xbox controllers and stuff like that. So don't have any batteries right now. I'll have to go to the store and get some. I just went pretty simple down here. I didn't do too much. Um, these little areas are like, this used to be a dresser. So whenever I bought it, I knew that I wanted it to be in here um, as like a TV stand because it fits my other furniture and my um, china hutch. So I had my husband take the drawers out and kind of modify it, but it's really hard to decorate because it's so short in there. So you can't really put very much in there. So I just went the easy route and stuck that kind of stuff in there. I might change it up, I'm not sure. Um, I thought, I thought I was gonna do a little better than what I'm doing, but I think it looks good so far. I'm trying to have a little bit of fall here and there, but not do too much. I'm trying to just keep it simple and not do a, a whole bunch of stuff everywhere, but I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling trying to keep it simple. But I think we're doing okay. I'm gonna leave these bookshelves the way that they are. I'm happy with those. I'm happy with the TV stand. Now I just have to figure out this thing back here because it's always a struggle. No matter what holiday, no matter if I'm just doing like a plain thing, I always struggle with this because I this is like the centerpiece of the of the living room and I want it to look good, but I also don't want to crowd it up to where it looks overwhelming. And then also like it's the main traffic area, so whenever you walk by, depending on how I have stuff up here, it rattles like this birdhouse that's right here i don't know how many times i thought it was going to fall off because my son or my husband my kids run through here with our dog and play and that birdhouse just rattles like crazy up there so <laughs> i i like to decorate up there but it's just really risky whenever you're working with pottery and you don't want it to fall so i think i'm going to try to do something a little bit more simple up there and not put birdhouses on little pedestals because this one right here one day it was literally almost half off of that little stool up there and i think my son is the one that saw it ended up moving it but that could have been bad so i'm gonna try and redo this go a little simple up there i think i might keep my birdhouses in there just take all the sunflowers out and add some pumpkins here and there and I think I might just do the simple route. I don't know. I hope this is helping you because I, it takes me forever and I move things and change things around. If I were to show you the entire process of me decorating for any season, it would be like an eight hour video. It would be very long because I change my mind so many times. I sit and I think and I get frustrated so I walk away and then I come back. It's, it's a process, seriously to get to this point. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get it done. I'm just gonna keep simple in mind and see where we end up. Talk to me, baby.
posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends and ever since you came around i've never been sober always in my head met you at a time when change a few things at the top of my china hutch I moved things around just a, just a tad and then I added a couple more things and then I ran out to a Dollar Tree because I needed to go get my daughter from school and while I was out I thought I'm just gonna swing my Dollar Tree and see if they have any kind of filler things um, something just super cheap since I'm just gonna be filling I wanted some pumpkins that went into the little lantern that set up there so these are the only things that I can find they are glittery which I didn't really want but it'll work they're little they're small so I got three packages of these and then my husband and my daughter my husband came home for a minute and my daughter said that I needed to add a little bit more orange in here because it kind of looked plain so I just bought these little um, leaves leaves that have like um, these little fake uh, little fake berry things or I don't I don't know what it's called but anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and add these throughout the hutch and then fill my lantern up at the top and then it'll be done and then I'll show you like a once over of everything that I did and then we're gonna move to the kitchen because it's a disaster in there and I have no idea what I'm gonna do but I gotta get I gotta get it cleaned up because I can't 
can't take it anymore there's so much in there but anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this and then i'll show you how it turned out you know we should work it out you know we should work it out before i'm too invested i should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya, ask you all my questions, get to know you better.
way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling kitchen um this is pretty much everything i'm gonna do i'm gonna vacuum and mop and get those dishes cleaned up over there but before i do i'm just gonna take you around and show you a little bit of what i did um my kitchen was very challenging for me but i got it done and this is all i'm gonna do so it's kind of simple um but there's still like a pop of color 
room and a pop of fall everywhere you look in here so i'll just take you around and show you what i did and then i gotta get back to cleaning and get this mess up and get done with this video because everybody's getting ready to come home and um they're all gonna want to eat and mess everything up that i just did so um i'll take you around okay so i just added um, a couple pumpkins up there. I, I really like this and I didn't want to put it away so I just went ahead and put it up there with some pumpkins. I figured the yellow is still kind of fall so um, I just put that up there. And then here I just did a birdhouse and a little pumpkin with some leaves. I did my little boo pumpkin just on that shelf. Um, some orange little flower type things right here. With a little pumpkin and the plate and then I never really change these up much because um, nobody really looks down here uh, your eyes don't go down here so I just dusted these off and added the little sugar thing there but that's all I'm gonna do there and then here I just added my wreath to my back door and then on my mug rack this is where I kind of struggled here because I only have a couple fall mugs I don't have a whole lot so I just went the easy route and put my little flower um, greenery back up there I just put a little welcome sign at the top uh, I have some of my fall mugs and then I just went in with the black and the white to fill it in so just simple right there up here I did two pumpkins one of my Ray Dunn canisters and then I just filled this little tin with different greenery and um, little just little different things to kind of elevate it and bring something up here i'm covering that wood back there um we're still trying to get that piece i don't know what it is but we can't get it in and then here i just added um some orange leaves and then the little straw to the top of it i thought i decorated it you know dress it up a little bit and then here i have quite a bit going on but I added some pumpkins, some greenery, some of this mossy stuff that I really like. And then I put a little straw bow on my spooky pumpkin. And then I just did normal Ray Dunn stuff in there. And then over here I just added some pumpkins, a couple of these little signs that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, and then just my other Ray Dunn stuff that kind of always stays here and just added some pumpkins and again with the little mossy stuff okay so this is the kitchen table i definitely wanted to go simple on the kitchen table because we eat here we do a whole bunch of stuff here and i just wanted it to be easy just to pick this up and move it um instead of having like this big display here to where you know if there's glass on it it could get broke i did that last year and it was such a pain because we had to move it all the time and i was so afraid that my um little tea pitcher that was sitting on it was gonna get broke so I just got a bucket and I added a bunch of pumpkins to it I added some pine cones with some leaves and then tied some straw around it and I thought it's simple um, but still fall like and then I just put um, these on top of the placements that I already had and then here on my stove I just did my little pumpkin tea pitcher and then um, I just put some of that mossy stuff in here with a little pumpkin just to add some color over here. Again, I'm not going to do a whole bunch here because when we're cooking and everything, I don't want to have to move a whole bunch of stuff. And I also don't want my stuff to get ruined if it gets food on it or something. So I just did a little bit simple stuff over here as well. So that's pretty much it around the kitchen. Now I just need to put dishes away and load the dishwasher and get all of this stuff cleaned up. There's so much stuff all over the floor from all of the... Um, different little sticks and things that I was using. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and then I'm gonna move to the bath. Yeah, I'm a bit too
a bit too much, but I'm finding it. Yeah. Stay 